welcome to the September edition of Health Check 360, sponsored by Tomo Memorial Hospital. The hospital is asking residents in the area to help meet the demand for blood by taking part in their September 27th blood drive. I'm joined today by Jennifer Stelzer, Blood Center of Wisconsin Blood Program Consultant, and Eric Price, Tomo Memorial Marketing and Public Relations Director, who are here to remind us why blood drives and donors are so important. So, hi. 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 Uh, so, blood drives, I know they're needed, and we're always looking for blood, so what, what, uh, what are we looking for for blood donations in the, in the, at this time? Well, we need to collect, the blood center needs to collect about 800 donations a day wow. to make sure that we have enough bloods for our hospitals in Wisconsin. Currently, we supply 56 hospitals in 29 counties, so the need is absolutely constant. So it's, it's, always, it's always a need. There's always. no a certain time of year where one blood is needed over another. No, 800 donations every day. Every day, yeah. okay. So is there a particular blood type that is needed over other blood types? So all blood types are very important. We do need all blood types, um, but you may hear one in particular a little bit more, and that's O negative, and that's the universal uh, And why blood is donor. that one specifically so uh, shorthanded? It's not necessarily shorthanded, but it may be used a little bit more frequently oh. um, because it can be used in emergency type situations because anyone can, anyone it. can have it, yes. So if there was an accident and they're brought into the hospital and they don't have time to know exactly what their blood type is, they will use O negative. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. So Eric, uh, this blood drive on September 27th, can you give us some more details about it? Sure, Joe, it begins at noon, goes till six o'clock at the hospital. Um, we're asking people to pre-register in advance and you can do that on our website. It makes the process go much easier. And really the point is here, if you're looking to help out your local community, you give blood to the blood center because the blood that you give, as Jennifer pointed out, stays within our community to help out us and other hospitals in Wisconsin. So, uh, d is it helpful that they register early because it's like setting up an appointment and they can get in, donate? Correct. And right. And you can just go to our website at tomahospital.org to register. We've got uh, probably 60 some people already pre-registered, so you want to get in early to get your time so that the wait is at a minimal. Okay. So if someone's never donated before, what, what can they expect when they arrive? Uh, you have to have a photo ID. You have to be at least 110 pounds, 17 years of age, although 16 year olds can donate too. They just have to have a parental consent. Okay. We have the forms at the hospital or you can get those online too. So you register, they do a few tests to make sure that you are healthy, able to give blood. You actually sit down in the chair and give the blood. It takes about an hour when all is said and done. And we even have some refreshments and some treats for you at the end. Okay. Do you have a st st standard donors that always show up or is it you're looking to increase that? Yeah, pool of we always do seem to have a people that come in and we really appreciate that. Um, but we're always looking for more donors. We always hear a lot about people who have never given blood before. They're afraid of the needle. They think it's going to take too long. But I think once they've donated once, then they're really hooked and they want to come back. They really understand what it is to give back to the community and really how easy it is to help other people. Mm -hmm. Well, for a donator, how often can they give blood? Jennifer, go ahead. Yes, um, so if you're donating whole blood, you can donate every 56 days. Okay. The Toma blood drive is September 27th, so is there more blood drives to be coming down the road? We do about six drives a year. Um, after the one on the 27th, our next one will be on November 29th, and we're gonna do a special holiday okay. blood drive yeah. on December 26th, the day after Christmas. Okay. We know that a lot of Relatives and friends will be in the area, and we're hoping that they see the need to give, and this will be a great opportunity Make for them to Make it a family effort, maybe? Right, and especially around the holidays. What a better okay. time. Uh, don't forget, you can find this and past editions of Health Check 360 on our Lynx 24 Facebook page. And don't forget to head over to Tomo Memorial Hospital between noon and 6 p.m. on September 27th to donate blood and help save a life.